So the next question is from Dooley. And Dooley says, actually he has two questions, I believe. He says, Phil, recently the Xbox One X pre-orders went live. Apparently the day one Scorpio edition is already sold out everywhere. What is your view on the way the console market is evolving? Do you think there's any point in having a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One, uh, Xbox One X console? Um, let me put it this way. All right. Let me put it this way. I'm not against having an upgraded version of a console sold or whatever. If anything, though, the people who really should be angry aren't the people who maybe are, oh, I didn't get a PS4 or an Xbox One at launch, and now I, I finally can afford it, and now the version that's out is a better version, and I can buy a better version with better graphics or whatever. Those people are, are actually in the good situation. People who are screwed over here are people who bought the original consoles and basically got what I guess now would be considered an underpowered version of what was supposed to be a next generation console, right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that when PS4 and Xbox One first launched, that if they were already, they already had plans to probably release a future upgraded version of these consoles. And that ain't right, you know? And let's face it, if you look at games that are running on the PS4 and Xbox One, the vanilla versions, a lot of these games just don't live up to expectations. They don't, some of them aren't 1080p, in fact, a hell of a lot of them aren't 1080p, which is ridiculous. Um, tons of them, most of them are not above 30 frames per second. Most of them can't even run a consistent 30 frames per second. It's just laughable that this was supposed to be the next wave, right? And it couldn't even be close to what was already available easily and readily on PC. And you couldn't get consistent experiences um, on your consoles. Like, you would buy one cons or why well, excuse me one game play it and this game runs great and then you buy another game and the game runs like shit because the game developers didn't consistently do a good job of making games that would perform good on each console <clears throat> so that's really shit in my opinion if you ran out and you were an early adopter and you bought the original versions of these consoles or whatever and you got the shaft because you know you didn't get what you wanted out of it uh, and now all of a sudden, now they're selling another console that promises to get delivered to you what you were looking for at, at launch of those other consoles. You got the shaft. It's bullshit. Um, for me, all right, I personally don't see any reason why I would need either a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Now, why? Because I am playing on my 1080p TV. I have no plans until this TV dies. I have no plans on going out and buying another four, a TV that's 4K and all that. And I'll be honest here, you know, we don't have games that consistently run well at just 1080p. What in the holy hell makes gamers think that just because you bought a better powered console with better hardware inside, that game developers are going to be able to develop now 4K resolution games that are going to run great? Like... If there's no evidence of something, why would you just believe it because of hype? And that's what I don't understand. People, like, you know, the Xbox One X fucking pre-orders sold out immediately everywhere. Every time they go up, they sell out immediately. Dude, if people are going to get these consoles on day one, and they're going to play games that are either going to look the same as they fucking did on original Xbox One, or slightly improved with maybe a little bit more frame rate, a little bit more graphical detail or whatever, and then they're going to finally go to play the 4K game, and it's going to run at 15 frames per second, and they're going to complain. That's your fault. Like, there's no evidence whatsoever right now that game developers can develop a consistent 4K experience on a console. If they can't do it for 1080p, if they can't even make the games 1080p, what the fuck makes you think they're going to make a game 4K and a good gaming experience? Like, I seriously expect, I seriously expect um, that, I seriously expect that that's going to happen. That seriously, that that it's going to be a situation where these consoles are not going to be massively underperforming. They are. They're massively underperforming. They're not going to be uh, any good. I, I seriously, I believe that. Okay, I believe that these consoles are going to underperform and are not going to be going doing uh, what they expect. And you're going to have people running out. You know, oh my God, I got to get. I'm the early adopter hype or whatever, right? Early adopter hype. I really feel that that's the case. I do. I don't think that it's going to uh, be consistent. I think that people are going to be disappointed. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. You know, good. I mean, good on them if they actually release this console, this Xbox One X, 
and it ends up being ama an amazing gameplay experience. And it ends up being full 4K, gorgeous graphics, for, you know, 60 frames per second, running gorgeous. Fine, but I don't see it. I don't think, realistically, I don't think that that's going to happen at all. I don't. I don't think that it will. I think that it's going to be very underperforming. But that's just my opinion. Based off of previous experience from seeing what these developers have already done on consoles. All right. <clears throat> um, thank you for a couple cheers. Your boy Bob did a 10-bit cheer. And Hey Boss Posse did a 200-bit cheer. I guess that some internet is getting is being uh, flaky today. People are saying that I guess my stream is choppy or whatever. I apologize. It, my modem's not resetting. It's not a DDoS attack or anything like that. It may just be some flakiness of internet. So if you're watching live on stream and it's chopping up, I apologize. I have nothing I could do about that. But it is what it is. All right. Shout out to Robbo806 who just subscribed to the channel for the second month. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so the next question from Dooley was, which game has impressed you the most this year and what which one was a complete disappointment? Um... I would say that impressed me the most this year uh, would probably be um, Sonic Mania. And I know that's crazy to say. Sonic Mania blew me away. I had no expectations for Sonic Mania. And the reason I had no expectations was because Sonic 4, which is what Sonic Mania really is... Sonic 4 came out years ago and was incredibly disappointing. It just didn't have that classic feel of like a classic Sonic game. Um... It didn't seem to have the, the, the kind of awesome gameplay mechanics of the original Sonics. It didn't have a retro feel, and it was released episodically, which really killed the game, in my opinion. Um, and a lot of people were very disappointed with Sonic 4, me being one of them. Uh, Sonic Mania is exactly what you're looking for. It's the original graphics, so you get throwback, you know, kind of 16-bit graphics and stuff like that. Um, you get great gameplay, great high-level, you know... The same kind of classic gameplay that you have felt from back in the day. It's that kind of thing. It's a throwback to that. So in that regard, I love Sonic Mania. And I think is again, I had no expectations for it, knowing how bad Sonic 4 was. And then it ended up being amazing. Like, a really good game. All right. So, uh, yeah, Sonic Mania would be the game that probably surprised me and ended up being the, one of the best so far this year. Uh, a game that ended up being super disappointing this year. Um... See, the problem is I don't have all the games sitting in front of me here. What I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at my gaming schedule and kind of looking through all the games that I played. I would have to probably say Mass Effect The Andromeda. I think we all were looking for a game that was going to be on the level of the other games in the Mass Effect franchise, the original trilogy. And I think we can all collectively agree that Mass Effect The Andromeda did not live up to any of the quality standards of the original trilogy, whether it was story, graphics, gameplay, all of it was kind of like subpar. Things that they they took out cooperative, like you can't control your fucking teammates. That was like 90% of the fun of the fucking combat of the original two games is when you could do combo attacks with your teammates and upgrade the skill trees so that you could work together and have these combo things. And they took it out. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with Mass Effect Andromeda, dude. And of course, the game tanked. And, uh, basically the game now is done. They've already announced that they're, they've completely cut off development for it. There'll be no more patches. There's not going to be any more, no DLC, nothing. The game is completely and utterly done. And internally the studio, you know, Bioware said, we're not working on another Mass Effect game. So they might have actually tanked the entire fucking franchise with Mass Effect Andromeda. If you can believe it. 